expertise that lead to state agencies have so much to say about the conduct of our lives. Governor Greg Abbott thought twice after appointing a leader of a state health care board because of concerns about the doctor's history. And it led us to ask questions about how the governor's office vets these appointments. The doctor in question is Daniel Brudnack. He was supposed to serve on the board governing acupuncture in Texas. In 2011, the state medical board cited him for inappropriately prescribing stimulants and not keeping appropriate records. In a short to the point statement, the governor's press secretary said, quote, after our office was made aware of the seriousness of these violations, Dr. Brednack tendered his resignation and we accepted it. KXAN's Phil Prazen takes an in-depth look at this case and the governor's appointment process. In his letter of resignation, Dr. Brudnack mentioned his missteps. He writes, I had fully disclosed in my application and interviews several times and as a matter of public record. Goes on to write, I do wish that this had been addressed before my appointment. Well, you're going to have some slip through. Glenn Smith from Progress Texas PAC says, on average, a governor in Texas will appoint 3,000 people every term. But he says bodies like the Transportation Commission, the University Board of Regents, even the Texas Board of Acupuncture Examiners are essential. So important because they administer our laws and regulations that it ought to be the first priority of a governor. You'd like to eliminate all mistakes. In the governor's office, 10 people work as the appointment team. They search for candidates, accept applications, vet the finalists, and then make a recommendation to the governor. Because we have a legislature that only meets for five months every two years, there has to be somebody to oversee what happens on a day-to-day -day basis in government. Scott Braddock is the editor of the Quorum Report, a statewide newsletter focusing on Texas politics. He says in many cases, appointments to these bodies are the source of the governor's power. And now, after Dr. Brudnack's resignation, Governor Abbott has one more slot to fill. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. There are so many positions to appoint. Right now, more than 300 appointees are serving, even though their term has expired. Just today, Governor Abbott appointed three people to the Nursing Facility Administrator's Advisory Committee.